Uh, hi, hello, this is Dr. Prasad Pudhilam with a new video class series Biology for Engineers mainly Okay, so this is the image which I am starting with uh, to make you understand that this is particular class for the applications of enzymes as biosensors You know what are the sensors Now we have uh, using uh, different type of sensors in our household as well as industry or any institution or even our my mobile phone itself is a touch sensor Okay, so like that, uh, optical sensors are there, uh, uh, thermistors are there, piezoelectric sensors are there, different type of sensors are there. The same thing which we use uh, can be replaced uh, in a bio way, biological way. Okay, we call it as biosensors. So the main applications of enzymes, a practical application of enzymes, engineering applications of enzymes as biosensors, that is a topic which I, uh, which I am taking, taken here, which is the topic uh, there in your syllabus. Uh, biology for engineers syllabus based on the different analyte uh, with different uh, molecules that you want to uh, sense uh, identify as well as quanti quantify qualitative as well as quantitative analysis can be done by using this type of uh, sensors this is already uh, in the they are coming to the market so uh, moving on to the uh, class introduction this is this class is for uh, biology for engineers uh, bboc 407 and uh, Visheshara Technology University, Karnataka. This is the sixth class for uh, Module 2. Module 2, these are the topics which I have already covered. Uh, enzymes uh, in uh, biosensor fabrication that I am touching now. Food processing, detergent formulation, texture processing, that is women. We continue uh, class series. Okay, the course outcome which is mentioned here, only the support I needed you from you is your subscribe. Please subscribe button. What? you lose if you click that subscribe button nothing you will lose i will get one extra subscriber i feel proud huh, that i have um, gained this many subscribers anyhow you will be watching my video if to understand otherwise you will be coming to my video at least to get the study material which i am giving in the description box i am very happy with that please subscribe uh, and uh, like the videos and share to others those who can get benefited Okay, so moving to my YouTube channel, my intuition 4865. Okay, on to the second module. So, first module was introduction to biomolecule. Now, the second module that is the application part of uh, that one. Third one, uh, even uh, some specialized uh, things will be seen. Okay, so this is what I introduced, started with. So, I am not going in detail. You can see unlike molecule, uh, different colored one, just representation here. This is the enzyme, uh, uh, different en enzymes, enzymes are immobilized into this particular shape okay different type of enzymes can be used for different applications based on the transducers uh, which is needed it can be amphoteric it can be optical sensor it can be thermistors it can be piezoelectric which will take the signal it will be amplified and uh, given for the microelectronics too so that we can uh, people the human beings can understand uh, whether it is sense whether there is a sense or not okay Okay, our sense uh, will not work as such, then uh, we need the help of uh, electronic gadgets. kits. So the question, discuss the applications of enzymes in biosensor fabrication. Describe the principles behind the enzyme uh, based biosensors connected to course outcome 3 with level 3 and uh, 10 marks question. Introduction to enzymes, uh, very simple, at least 2 marks. Principle behind enzyme based biosensors, by seeing the image only you can analyze what it is, 4 marks. Even if you can draw a, a sketch of that one, it is, will be very good. Even though I always say that uh, for biology for engineers, uh, you don't need to worry much about the, the images. But uh, this one, anyhow, engineers, you may will be knowing, uh, you studied basic electronics or uh, bioelectric based uh, components. Uh, therefore, you know what are amplifier transducers. Only that bio word enzyme you need to add, the remaining all are the same. Okay, then applications of enzyme based biosensors and future of prospectus carrying one mark. Okay, we cannot stop uh, research here because we are not reached to the main application of biosensors so future uh, research what are the things to be done that is also very important as going to the definition and uh, function enzymes uh, we, they are the uh, actually called as the catalyst biological catalyst they actually proteins uh, which accelerate a chemical reaction the catalyst word they accelerate the chemical reaction without by lowering the activation energy and uh, without uh, involving in the reaction okay so they are very highly specific uh, the catalyst the enzymes are very uh, specific uh, catalyzing the specific biochemical reactions they play a very essential role in uh, various uh, uh, physiological um, processes properties of enzyme the enzymes have an active site uh, where the substrate bind and undergo chemical reactions forming the product 
okay that means enzymes are having a, a, a keyhole uh, lock and key mechanism there, there is a particular uh, site is a actually biological function of group which will attach it to another biological function group they can they only they can command join they can react they can form a bond between them so that is called the active site uh, and uh, other reactions so it means if a particular biomolecule if it comes near to where, where is my hand okay if it comes near to the uh, enzyme if enzyme is having exactly from which to hold it then it will hold it then there is a reaction takes place then it can be sensed so that is the concept behind how the biosensor is working simple concept nothing to worry okay but it can be influenced by many such factors like temperature the ph the substrate concentration etc are one of the factors which you need to vary so that's the properties now the basic components of uh, of uh, the uh, enzyme based biosensors uh, uh, it include the biosensor uh, it's a device that combines the biological sensing elements such as the enzymes mainly here and a transducer to detect and convert a biological response into a into a measurable signal the main components are the biological element the enzyme act as the biological uh, recognizing element which interact with the target and the light then we need a transducer which convert the biochemical reaction into into a measurable uh, signal usually converting to electrical signal now the principle of operation it initially recognizes the enzyme specifically interact with the target and light leading to a biochemical reaction that is the recognition stage then uh, signal transduction the biochemical biochemical reaction biochemical reaction generated it measures the signal and such as the change in the ph or uh, or the conductivity or the optical property of that uh, molecule it uh, that that is the signal transduction actually then detection the signal is detected and uh, it is quantified by the transducer providing uh, information about the concentration of the target and light you know how it is identified now how much a concentration it is there that also it will uh, give now uh, the enzyme immobilization uh, enzymes are uh, means how it is made to sit on that uh, substrate where it can sit and uh, sense waiting for some molecule to come and ah, yeah yeah identified sense how it can be done that is it has to be immobilized it has to sit there it should not run away okay that is called as immobilization enzymes are immobilized onto a solid support such as a membrane or an electrode or a nanoparticle in it to enhance the stability as well as its reusability otherwise once it is used it may be uh, it cannot be used again okay now immobilization uh, methods it include uh, many methods like uh, physical ad adsorption adsorption means going and sitting on the surface surface property that is an adsorption or by covalent bonding or by encapsulating uh, the enzyme component to a solid support or by entrapment within the matrix these are the different research fields of uh, how the enzyme can be made to sit it, to make so that it can act as a sensing plate okay now the key consideration uh, is about the specificity sensitivity stability centimeter it <laughs> okay there is some movie dialogue i took so specificity sensitivity and stability <coughs> uh, enzymes based biosensor they exhibit high specificity towards the target and light minimizing the interface from other compounds then sensitivity of the biosensor it depends upon factors such as the enzyme activity the immobilization uh, efficiency as well as the as the, the transducer's performance then stability stability is crucial for long term biosensor performance often it is achieved through immobilization techniques and the enzyme engineering okay now move on to the next that is the application application part applications of enzyme based biosensors medical diagnostics the enzyme based biosensors are very widely used in medical diagnostics for the rapid or sensitive detection of biomarkers the pathogens and diseases for example the glucose biosensor which is already commonly used for the diabetic management or the cholesterol biosensor for for the for the cardiovascular risk assessment or the enzyme linked immobil uh, immunosorbent assays elisa called for detecting the elisa which is used for detecting antibodies and antigens 
என்வியர்மெண்டல் மானிட்டரிங் என்வியர்மெண்டல் மானிட்டரிங் பயோசென்சர் பிளே இன் டிடெக்டிங் பொல்யூட்டன்ஸ் டாக்ஸின்ஸ் அண்ட் கண்டாமினன்ஸ் இன் ஏர் வாட்டர் அண்ட் சாயில் தி என்ஜைம் பேஸ்டு பயோசென்சர் இட் கேன் டிடெக்ட் பொல்யூட்டன்ஸ் லைக் ஹெவி மெட்டல்ஸ் பெஸ்டிசைட்ஸ் ஆர்கானிக் காம்பவுண்ட்ஸ் விச் வில் கான்ட்ரிபியூட் டு தி என்வாயன்மெண்டல் ப்ரொட்டக்ஷன் ஆஸ் வெல் ஆஸ் தி பப்ளிக் ஹெல்த் now food safety and uh, the quality control enzyme based this type of biosensors can be employed it can be used in uh, food industry for monitoring the food safety the quality of the food or the authenticity of the food or they can be used to detect the pathogens or uh, or any allergens or any toxins or uh, or any spoilage uh, indicating or ensuring the compliance uh, with the food safety regulations and uh, maintaining consumer confidence i used to take this type of um, class videos classes to my students when i of nanotechnology based uh, courses uh, where we can see that a uh, food package uh, imagine a food package uh, which cons- which contains this type of uh, sensors it tells uh, uh, if it is a uh, uh, green uh, that means the food is not spoiled uh, it can be used no need to check wha- what is the expiry date mentioned that expiry date everything uh, who will believe that uh, me we only right but if a sensor you know that is also not possible to believe you can cheat but possibly say that if a food if it get uh, uh, spoiled spoiled means it already releases uh, that uh, particular um, biomolecule will be released from that if it senses and tell if it indicates that red indicated in the package it means that food is uh, spoiled don't use that uh, particular package food so these are the applications uh, different type of applications of it, such type of biosensors i mentioned only one very simple application i used to give, give this type of uh, examples to my students earlier okay now where we reached okay application of enzyme based biosensor moving on to the future prospectus uh emerging technologies uh that is the nanotechnology i already used the word <laughs> i was uh, head of the department of, of biotech nanotechnology uh, material science biotechnology they are dr- uh, driving the development of uh, next generation enzyme based biosensors so, since i was working in i was the main uh, of material science or the nanotechnology it, uh, it is a mixture of uh, physics biology chemistry everything is there that's why i am able to understand the biology concept physics as well as electronics chemistry everything is there and they mix up good for them okay so integration of uh, nano materials micro fluids and uh, the miniaturized electronics they hold promising uh, uh, um, for enhanced uh, uh, sensitivity portability uh, multiplexing capacities capabilities in a personalized medicine enzyme based biosensors are uh, they are having uh, or uh, they are uh, now they are uh, revolutionizing uh, the personalized medicine by enabling uh, real time monitoring of uh, biomarkers therapeutic uh, drug levels the wearable biosensors and uh, point of care device they offer opportunities for early disease detection personalized treatment and uh, improved patient outcomes then environmental monitoring with increasing the environmental concerns there is a, now a growing interest in the development of uh, enzyme based biosensor for uh, for monitoring the the climate change the pollution uh, recognizing or identifying the pollution and uh, the ecosystem health the sensors uh, biosensors they are capable of detecting emerging uh, contaminants and uh, assessing the environmental uh, risk to, it will play a very crucial role in the in the uh, sustainable uh, development prospectus over so thank you thank you very much for uh, watching my videos thank you very much for subscribing my youtube channel thank you very much for sharing my videos and for the support thank you very much for being with me once again thank you one and all